Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try and control my excitement. Toro has let me use another new Pro-Line walk-behind mower. I know, I know. Just wait, I can't wait. So it's not this one, nope. That's my Belt Drive original first mower that I ever got, first commercial mower when I started my business six years ago, full-time. I started seven years ago, part-time the first year, and then six years full-time ever since then. This was my first mower, I still have it. It's a good backup, tried and true. But this is the new Toro Pro-Line Walk Behind. She's a beaut, she's a beaut. But no, in all seriousness, I've used this mower for several hours so far and I already have a ton of things to say. But let's start with some concerns. Very minimal, very minimal. They've improved, well first of all, I have my belt drive mower here to really help compare the two. The hydro and the belt drive 
old walk behind mid-size mowers were constructed in the same way with the turbo force deck i don't know if you can see but it's it's definitely shaped different and built differently so like stated in my 36 inch i demoed a 36 inch version of this walk behind mower i'll put that video at the end of this for you to watch that but like i said in that video toro reinvented their mid-size walk behind mower to make it more affordable for the people that are beginners or just looking for extra mowers and were on a strict budget these mowers were built so strong so heavy duty that the price matched that so you can see differences in the deck this definitely is super this is definitely a lot more heavy duty, robust bull nose versus that bull nose and just the shape of the deck overall. Obviously there's all kinds of specs that you can look on the Toro website. I'll link that in the description below so you can check out all the deck sizes that they have. But a couple of you know quick things is when they redid this, they in my opinion upgraded certain things. So and you can look at their website and see this the hydro version of this mower the 48 inch hot twin lever hydro mower They're, they don't have this belt drive on there anymore um, the the t-bar belt drive on there anymore but they do have the twin lever hydro walk behind in a 48 and a 52 and if you look at them they're the exact same deck exact same constructed turbo force and what i really mean is it's a floating deck where you have to lift all four sides of this deck and change these pins out to raise and lower the heights. Don't, don't mind this, it's some DIY nonsense. But this, you know, tells, tells you all the different heights, going all the way up to uh, four and a half inches. It's the same thing that the new walk behinds go up to is four and a half. So you adjust all these heights through lifting these four pins. So now you've got one step lever right here. You got your, you got your positions here, you got your heights here, the pin, you stick it in where you need it, and then you hold on to this, pull it up a little bit, and you just kick that down, lower this down, and now it's on that pin at three and three quarters, and that's the height that you're gonna cut at. I find that a lot easier now than the old version. You just pull it up, and it catches right there, and now it's locked back up. You got your control panel here, all the basic stuff, choke, throttle, ignition key. This is your PTO switch. So you push that to engage the blades. You just push it and it starts the blades as long as the levers are down. And then turn it off. You either turn it off like that or you let go, put the parking brake on and then automatically shuts the blades off. The mower's still running. If you keep the parking brake down and take your hands off of both levers, at least one has to be down if you take it off both after like five seconds or so the whole engine shuts off just for safety but my biggest concern and really really my only concern because it kind of blends together with some stuff is that the controls are super responsive to the point where until you get used to it it's very jerky so it definitely has a little bit of a learning curve there. You know, once you get going, it's great. It's super responsive, like I said. You can turn on a dime, back up, forward, all that stuff. And it's great when you're on, you know, mainly level surfaces, you can do that. But the issue is when you're on any kind of slope incline, you gotta be very careful because the fact that it's so responsive, if you back up and then start up like any slight incline, it starts to pop a wheelie. So I said this on the 36 inch version of this, I figured because it was so small and light that that's why it did it. This one still does the same thing. Obviously not as much because it is a bigger mower. It's more robust, it's got a bigger deck. So by default, it's heavier in the front. Yes, we could put some weights, a weight kit in the front most likely, just like they had on the 36 for the sulky to be hanging on the back. Uh, so you could not have a sulky and just put the weights on the front and help weigh that down a little bit. That's probably something I would look into doing if I were to own this mower for myself just because I want that extra piece of mind and security because it can be very dangerous if you're not careful and pop a wheelie where it just goes off. So you just have to be really careful about that. And I mean, when you're on slopes, you're supposed to go uphill. You're supposed to work your way uphill, side to side or diagonal or whatever, obviously not up and down, that's not ideal. 
but you want to try and change the tire patterns a little bit so you're not putting ruts in there the best you can on that kind of a slope so going side to side is the best and you work your way up the hill right so as you're going up the hill you need to turn uphill every time you turn uphill and then start to turn sideways or back up slightly to line up with your next stripe and go, that's where you get that pop. That's where it gets scary and you gotta make sure that you're being super slow and cautious and careful because it's that stop start. So you just have to be cautious when you're doing that. So again, not sure if that's something that can be fixed other than putting weight kits on the front. You know, that's a simple fix. It obviously costs a little more money, but it's, it's worth it in the end to have a mower like this, which if you haven't, been able to tell I'm very excited about it's a 48 inch deck that's my deck of choice I've got a 48 inch grandstand I've got a 48 inch belt drive really an ideal deck because it can get into almost every back gate unless it's obviously a small gate but most gates you can get through single gates and obviously double gates you can get through so at my properties that's how it is we do have you know a handful of yards that have small gates that we can't get them through so we obviously can't use them on those backyards but ideally the 48 inch is big enough to get bigger properties done and still small enough to get the small properties done and get in most back gates so it's just a, a, a very versatile size deck versus like a 52 and beyond and even a 36 and less is almost a little bit too small in some cases except for the gates that you can't get through but I'm really excited about these tires like look at how beefy these tires are for a Toro walk behind I have never seen wheels this big on a 48 inch deck but this is the size wheel that the hydros have as well 16 inch where this is a 20 inch wheel huge difference huge especially when you're on slopes huge difference big tires better traction rolling over stuff nice and easy and smooth nice footprint and it's also a really wide beefy stance look at how wide of a stance that is compared to this stance I really really like how wide the frame is now and how far these wheels stick out on either side in addition to them being so much bigger so man when i tell you hill stability with this thing it's a dream this holds every hill i've used and i've got a lot of steep hills you can check out more videos about that on my channel it's totally improved in that regard i love it and the 48 inch deck is still cutting just as much as the as the turbo force grandstand deck so I don't notice a cut quality difference in the decks. Also, I don't plow through thick, heavy grass. Not right now in the middle of summer anyway. Maybe in the spring and fall there might be a difference. But it's cutting through what we need to right now. Leave some nice stripes. Just the same as the Turbo Force deck. So I really am not seeing any reduction in quality or efficiency. In fact, from the old stuff, I see increased efficiency with the bigger wheels, the wider stance, the quicker and easier height deck adjustment, the brake being up here instead of down here, like the old hydros. It's just a win-win. I get it that it's not constructed as heavy duty, but with that, means it's a little bit more affordable it's still commercial grade this is a commercial mower it's just not overbuilt like the other ones tended to be these things are built like tanks and that's good but the price shows that so if you're not if you're on a budget this fits more of those criteria makes the numbers fits the numbers better for the majority of people whether you're just starting out or you're trying to add a fleet of these for your business where you need multiple walk behind mowers this is a great choice right here and just for the record i am not getting paid to talk about this mower or to say any of the things that i'm saying this is just my own honest feedback like i've been doing since day one on my channel you can look at the Toro playlist that I'll link at the end here. You can see all of my original videos with my equipment, my belt drive walk behind, my Toro grandstand, all the mowers that I've owned and still currently own that I've talked about and done reviews on just because I wanted to share the content with you guys. And I really like the mowers. I think they're good quality mowers. They've helped me in my business so they could potentially help you with your business. Hey, thanks guys for watching. Wind, bugs sun's going down i'm just trying to make this video for you guys if you appreciate it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and make sure you check out the toro playlist at the end here and never forget to keep trying new things and be a rookie for life peace <laughs>